What's up guys? This is Friggin' Nerd Mario from Friggin' Nerd's Media bringing you guys the news you guys care about today. They very it again, slow. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> I didn't catch a word. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dylan. Uh, this is Dylan. Friggin' Nerd Mario. Friggin' Nerd's Media. It's not a parking lot review, but it's an empty mall review. Empty We're walking to the parking lot. It's as empty as a parking lot. Yeah, it feels like a parking lot. So, a mall review. We just saw Dial of Destiny. Indiana Jones in the Dial of Destiny. That's not, right. Not James Bond in the Dial of Destiny. That'd not, be cool. Not Willy Wonka in the Dial of Destiny. So yeah, like so, uh, what do you think of this? What do you think of this film? As an Indiana initial Jones fan, Im initial impressions. Um, should we sit in the car and do the review or in the <laughs> massage chairs? Let's sit in the massage chairs. Let's sit in the massage chairs. Massage and review. Um. So yeah. Do we want to put coins in? I don't have any coins. Alright, I got my card. <laughs> it's alright. I so liked this movie. I like okay. this movie. Uh, I'm going to need some time to marinate on it. Marinate. Uh, Something I, we talk about on this video service. Uh, marination. Yeah, we have our initial review, initial score, then our marinated score. Yeah. So we'll come back. We'll come back to you for your marinated score. Initial score, seven. I agree. Also seven. I think it was fun. It was, it was a fun time. It was a fun movie. I'm waiting for us to be kicked out. We, everyone knows, no spoilers, that there is de-aging in this film. And it works and doesn't work at the same time. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's about 70% doesn't work. It's jarring. It's very jarring yeah. because it's, yes, it looks like young Indiana Jones, but it sounds like old Harrison Ford. Yeah. And you would think with, like, I had this complaint with, you know, with other you know de-aging things. You people complained about with the Irishman? Yeah, it's the same thing. But, like, we have so many talented voice actors that can replicate his voice from his younger days. I would have done that more rather than have I, I didn't mind Harrison the voice. Ford. It was when, when the, the action sequences, you could clearly tell it was just a stunt double. Yeah. With, and this movie was too dark. Poor, yes, it was way too dark. Too dark. Let's Very go vi time. visual. Not, not thematically too dark. Yeah. Visually too dark. Very too dark. And it's to cover for the de-aging. Yeah. Well, we saw this in IMAX. Yeah. So and, I wonder... There was nothing shot for IMAX. IMAX didn't serve So I wonder if it'd be... Brighter in a standard theater. I, I want to go uh, see this again. Given all my recent the theatrical experiences, probably not. Oh, really? Yeah, hmm. I've noticed a lot of theaters are uh, really just dropping the quality hmm. of their screens. Here, but, uh, be careful as we watch on. Oh yes, I'm a professional, Dylan. Okay. So. I, I, pop socket or something. I, sh I should get one of those. I, I didn't like a lot of the action sequences, but I did like uh, um, some of the action. Sequences. It, it felt too CGI. The Everything they they, they relied on CGI. CGI. Oh, wow. none, none of the action sequences in this film um, had the um, Spielbergian Rube Goldberg effect. Right. Kind of one thing leads to another uh, of the great Indiana Jones films. I think even like. I, I kind of even preferred the opening of Crystal Skull to the opening of this film. Mm. Yeah, but I think I need to rewatch Crystal Skull. Um, How's the parking lot review? Poor Toby Jones mm. can't get out of World War II. Yeah, that's He's how they were. always stuck in World War II. Yeah. No matter what franchise they put him in. Yeah. Um, and the guy who plays Baron Strucker also plays a Nazi in this movie. Yeah. Yeah, it, and then Boyd Holbrook. Uh, uh, James Mangold loves his Boyd Holbrook yeah. as, a, as a thug that's a little too trigger happy because he plays the same exact character that he played in Logan. Yeah. Man who points gun. Yeah. Just and very... too happy about doing so. Yeah. So, I think if you're an indie fan, this is a good movie to see. Uh, I, 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 okay, it's a farewell. We knew, yeah, we knew Sala was going to be in it. Yeah, he's v used very well. I like very him. well. Not, not he doesn't get a big action sequence, but um, I feel like his character. You don't go to Indiana Jones for character, um, but I think uh, this one kind of knew that it had to. Mm. It's like, well, what are we like? 
it can't be just an old man in action sequences. It has to be a char- It has to be somewhat of a character film. Right. And I like how they address previous characters and their growth and what they've been up to in the meantime. Um, it was nice to see Indies, one of Indy's adventures during World War II. It was a that cool was touch. Nice. I thought it was a cool touch. But, um, yeah, the, the de-aging was hit or miss yeah. in a lot of sequences. Um, though I did kind of rationalize it in my brain by going, okay, well, he would have been about you know, 45 you think 40, this takes place? 46. It's got to be a few years right after. As, no, it's right as the war's ending, literally. It's in 1945. So okay. So he would have been 46, right? Yeah. yeah. And and in 1945, a 46 year old man is pretty damn old when mm. you think about it. So um, it, I was able to rationalize that a little bit, um, but mm. it, the visual effect of it is kind of hit or miss. It does look like. A, PS4 cutscene at times. Yeah, yes, I agree. Um, especially the uh, the um, rock and rope action sequence looked a little bit like a PS4 cutscene. Yeah. Um, also, if we saw it in a trailer, which so, which so. is not a bad thing because that's amazing how far CGI has come. But it just does take down a bit. <laughs> Seven. Two sevens. Double seven. Is that better than two sevens? I have to rewatch. I, I meant to rewatch Skull because obviously, shameless plug, Connery Curious, we just Connery covered. Curious. Um, Listen to Connery Curious, folks. Listen to Connery Curious. We, we just covered um, Last Crusade. The Last Crusade uh, to you kind of the price price price. Yes. So I, I think I need to see the Crystal Skull again to come back to you. Yeah. Right? So I, th- I, think, I think so. Just because it's a darker indie film, it's dark, but both visually, more visually than visually, but yeah. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. I think no, I'll leave no it. spoilers. I like how because people are wondering, I'm sure, how they deal with Mutt, Shia LaBeouf. Oh, it's very well done. Very, yeah, I thought that yeah, was the classy. Hand, the handling of that was classy. Cla- classy. Yeah. So. so you're missing your own face. Oh, no, they're here for, they see my face every week. They're here to see your face this week. No. Because no. it's, it's, it's very uh, now that I'm weird. Getting either of our faces. <laughs> there we go. Hi. Okay, so I think we're going to get out of here. We're going to talk spoilers in the car. Let us know in the comments. What did you guys think, spoiler free, of the last indie flick? Let's do a quick ranking before we... I'm going to put Raiders, Crusade, Temple of Doom, and then Dial of Destiny and Crystal Scholar tied. Yeah, I agree with you, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to swap Crusade for number one. And Raiders is two. And Raiders two. That's my, that's my official ranking. Our official ranking of the indie films. There's a decent reference to Temple of Doom in this film. Yeah, there's a couple of nice little... Uh, and we got a second of Connery. One Which we second. won't we won't spoil. It's not really Yeah, we'll really. spoil it, why not? It's, it's a picture. It's we see a picture. Just a picture. It's the same thing it is in Crystal Skull. Yeah. Except this picture is farther away and harder to see and yeah. blurry or out more out of focus. Yeah, so, so. Uh, that's our Connery curious moment. Yeah. But it, it's it's out of focus. It's just enough that you can tell it's Connery. I think I tapped Dilma but Connery. But it's out of focus <laughs> enough where his estate probably wouldn't try to sue. Yeah. But alright, so <laughs> until next time guys. Stay friggin' early. Let us know again, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, what'd you think? I've been Mario Lima. And I've been Dylan Titus. And as always, folks. <laughs> Stay friggin' nerdy and Connery curious. Oh, nice kiss. Mm-hmm.